yesterday, during the Nintendo Direct, we got a glimpse into Wave 6 of Mario Kart 8 Deluxe's DLC, which is going to be the last wave hopefully, of this booster pass, so that way we can finally move on to the next Mario Kart. But we got revealed some things that just didn't line up to anything I think anyone was expecting. For one, we got one brand new track, which actually ended up being a track that I don't think anyone had in their minds, because based on the data mines and what everybody was thinking, there was going to be one Wii track left, and it was going to finish with Rainbow Road from the Wii. But we just got another Wii track already that's going to be Daisy Circuit, which was one that was kind of out of left field if you ask me. Not to forget the fact that we have four brand new characters, when we were only supposed to have two. So how in the world is that chart of characters going to look like on the selection screen? I have absolutely no clue. They're going to do some reorganizing for sure. But I do want to take a dive into what we got and the track itself along with the characters also and a specific character. Also, real quick guys, before we get started, stop what you're doing and make sure you leave a like and subscribe, as a lot of you guys watching this video right now are not yet subscribed, and we are trying to reach 20% of you guys subscribed to the channel, so if you're enjoying the content, drop a like, it helps a lot, and subscribe. Thanks guys. So the majority of the cart community has pretty much come to the synopsis that these are the tracks that we were expecting. And you know, the ones that we can pretty much guarantee was Rome Avanti, also Madrid Drive, which were brand new tour tracks, which are the only city tracks left, which would fit perfectly. And then obviously the new Nitro tracks with Prana Plant Pipeline and obviously Prana Plant Cove. That then leaves us two Mario Kart Double Dash tracks, a Super Mario Kart track, and what everyone was saying, a Wii track to end it, which Everyone thought it was going to be Rainbow Road. I didn't necessarily think that, but everybody convinced me that it would have to be Rainbow Road if they wanted to end it on a big high note, which I don't know if Nintendo necessarily cares, you know? <laughs> as far as the Double Dash tracks we even have left, we have about four contenders. Mushroom Bridge, DK Mountain, Wario Coliseum, and Dino Dino Jungle. Are there others? Of course. You have like Luigi Circuit, Peach Beach, Mario Circuit, Mushroom City, Bowser's Castle, and even Rainbow Road, but those four seem to be the most likely as to what we could get, and a lot of people want Mushroom Bridge and DK Mountain or Dino Dino Jungle. Between those three seems to be the general consensus. For Super Mario Kart, it looks like it's between Bowser's Castle, Koopa Beach, and Vanilla Lake. And yes, you have Chaco Island and Ghost Valley, but I just don't think they're going to happen thanks to Boo Lake and Chaco Mountain. And I think everyone has figured that Bowser's Castle 3 was going to be the choice here because it was made with Mario Kart 8 in mind, with different sections that looked like it was going to be perfect zero grab areas for your tires and as you were going up the side and down the side of walls. And finally, if they were to add a Mario Kart Wii track, we were expecting Toad's Fast Factory, Daisy Circuit, Dry Dry Ruins, or Rainbow Road. Now you still once again had others like Luigi Circuit and Mario Circuit and Bowser's Castle, but these four seem the most likely, especially Daisy Circuit being in there because we don't have anything for Daisy. Outside of Daisy Cruiser of course, so it looks like she is getting her own circuit. Now that does raise some eyebrows now. Does that mean we're done with Wii Tracks for good? Are they going to add another Wii Track to end it with Rainbow Road? Does that mean that replaces another track already? Like does that replace a GameCube track? Does that replace one of the SNES tracks or the last SNES track? What does this mean? Well, if characters are anything to go off of, Nintendo does not care. Nintendo's gonna do whatever Nintendo wants to do, you know what I mean? Like, they had two characters left, and they ended up giving us double with four. So there's a very good chance that they could just mix up everything we knew about the data mines and the leaks, and just give us whatever they want for this last final wave. Now, I do think the rest of the tour city tracks and the nitro tracks are coming. It just makes sense, and it perfectly lines up with the end of this wave in a way for Nintendo to preserve all of these tracks as they've been doing for the one through five waves. But it does make us question now what the they're going to choose for the final couple of tracks that are returning from past Mario Kart games. Now, before we jump into characters, was Daisy Circuit the best choice if this was the last Mario Kart Wii track? I don't think so. You know, I'm not saying anything bad against Daisy Circuit, but it does feel like a lot of the tracks we already have. More city slash town tracks with just a regular road and going around some buildings. Like, that kind of felt weird for them to pick that one out of all the good ones that we still had. I mean, I know everyone loves Toad's Factory, and we really haven't seen it return since Mario Kart Wii, which is really sad. And we was really hoping it did return, not just because it's a really fun track to race on, but also because 
For one, Toad gets a track outside of like Toad Circuit from Mario Kart 7, and also the fact that the music is just extremely good here. We Dry Dry Ruins is one of the better desert tracks and also just got remade from Mario Kart Tour. And if I'm not mistaken, we really don't have a single desert themed track within the entire booster pass, which is a little weird. So this one is a little bit of a big miss as well. And everybody and their mother loves Wii Rainbow Road, even though we just got the Mario Kart 7 Rainbow Road halfway through the booster pass. There's still a chance this could come. It could be a surprise at the end where they replace one of the GameCube tracks and just give us another Wii track with Rainbow Road. It was remade in tour. This very well could happen to end the final track for the final wave of the entire booster pass. But it's Nintendo we're talking about. They very well could just end it with something that we don't care about. But once again, it's really nothing on Daisy Circuit. I just think that Mario Kart 8 Deluxe makes this track a little less special now. Since we have so many city-themed tracks, it just doesn't feel as special as some of the others, at least in my opinion. But enough about the tracks. Let's get into the thing that actually matters here. What in the world is going on with these characters? So we got four brand new characters, and Nintendo really catered to the fans here. Everybody was really trying to decide which characters were going to make the cut, as there was only two slots available, and there was lots of choices that just made sense. Well, specifically three. Diddy Kong, Funky Kong, and Pauline. And everybody's trying to decide one of the Kongs were probably going to get cut because Pauline just seemed like a shoe in But, of course, Nintendo did the unexpected and gave us all three of those characters. Diddy, Funky, and Pauline are all coming to Mario Kart 8 Deluxe, which I don't think fans could be any more happier with that choice. But then Nintendo did this. Like, what is this? This is Peachette, a very, very minor exclusive character to New Super Mario Bros. U Deluxe, which is literally just a powered up Toadette that looks like Peach. It was a very weird character in the beginning and a lot of people just thought it was pretty goofy, but this character is actually the last one coming to Mario Kart 8 Deluxe. I almost don't want to believe it. I kind of want to hold out hope that maybe Nintendo is lying some more and there's even more characters on the way that they just didn't tell us about. But if this is the last character, and these were the characters we had to choose from, oh boy. Look, Charging Chuck, I understand. Appeared in Mario Golf, and that's really about it. Just a second tier enemy that we normally never see. Dixie Kong, still a better choice, but I maybe even get this one because we just have way too many Donkey Kong characters. It would become like Donkey Kong Kart at that point. Maybe I could stretch it even more and say, okay, sure, no Captain Toad because we already have Toad. Just give him an alt for Captain Toad at that point. And DK Jr. was just a little weird, so I get that one. But King bob is like literally in everything. Like everything. All the Mario Party games has some type of character, even like a boss every now and then, and spinoff games and stuff. Even Mario Golf, he was a playable character. Shoot, King bob even appeared in the Super Mario Brothers movie. Like, how in the world did he get beaten out by Peachette? Even Nabbit made more sense, considering the fact that he's been around since New Super Mario Bros. U and kept returning as an easy mode, and even in Super Mario Wonder, he's back again, Nintendo just won't forget Nabbit, but he's not a driver in this game? Hammer Bro, the one that makes me the most upset, is a character and enemy that has been around since Mario's very beginning and has appeared in almost every single Mario Bros. game. How in the world are the Hammer Bros getting beat out by Peachette? Like, that doesn't even make sense. A character that appeared in a game for the first time ever just years ago compared to a character that has serious history with the Mario franchise. It, it just really doesn't make sense to me. And Mario Kart Tour also had like four different alts for these guys, which would have been perfect for the different types. But no. Dude, even Monty Mole has more relevance in history than Peachette and would have been an easy character addition in my opinion. Shoot, the Honey Queen right now has more representation in the Mario franchise than Peachette, yet Peachette beat her out. Now, yes, if it is a female thing and Nintendo wants more female characters, which we've heard in the past, they wanted more female and heavyweight characters, they even had a chance to throw in a non-Mario character to end the DLC, because they had Rob in Mario Kart DS, and it was a past Mario Kart game, so it could have worked. But Nintendo said no, Peachette. I don't even know how this character came into fruition from Nintendo. Somebody at Nintendo made this happen, and I do not like them for it. And the thing that makes it so much worse is that we have Peach, Cat Peach, 
and pink gold peach. At this point, we might literally get Princess Peach next. Nintendo is licking them lips for Mario Kart 10, let me tell you. I know a lot of people are also gonna say, like, there's no point of being mad because she's a bonus character, and I get that. Like, she wasn't supposed to happen. We was only supposed to get two characters, and Nintendo was, you know, graceful enough to give us this many characters. But at the same time, just like, okay, if she was a bonus character, that means the rest could have been that bonus character as well. So, like, I don't really get that argument. But the point is, Mario Kart 8 is ending soon. And I am so glad to have so many tracks and characters in this game. It's honestly insane. And when we look back at it from many years from now, we're gonna miss this. Trust me, we're gonna miss having this many tracks because we're never gonna get tracks like this again, I don't think. There's so much content in this game is actually insane. And I am so thankful that Nintendo added pretty much every single character that people have been begging for. Like, this is Mario Kart 8 Deluxe, baby, and I am so happy to see how Wave 6 is gonna end it all. But let me know in the comments down below what you thought of this track being Daisy Circuit being added, and also with the addition of these four brand new characters, Peachette included. Let me know if you guys love Peachette, if you hate her, if you would love to see somebody else, who else would you like to see? Let me know in the comments down below, and please make sure you leave a like and subscribe before you head out, and I will see you all on the next one. See you guys.